What's up, YouTube? It's JP Panther, back with a video. And today's video is actually going to be a fun discussion type video. Again, I did um, a couple of videos before this prior to the Sternbritter vs. Espada one because I felt like it was necessary to address it. But again, this is going to be a fun discussion type video, um, trying to get you away from the world. But I already had a bunch of videos addressing what's happening currently, what's happening. But this isn't the video for that. So we're about to get into it. We're going to have some fun. We're about to, you know, you know, lighten up, get some popcorn or something like that and really enjoy the show. So right now, this video is about who do you think was... Uh, who do you think was better villains in Bleach, right? Do you think the Stern Raiders were better or do you think the Espadas are better? We're about to get into it right now. Sit back, enjoy, and we're about to get into it right now. So in my personal opinion, right, if I'm comparing the Espadas to uh, the Juwa Box Stern Raiders, in my personal opinion, because again, I kind of got to talk to you guys about this because these two arcs, like the Thousand Year Blood War and the Ranka arc, are like the main, I think they're like the longest arcs in the series. Because I think the beginning of Bleach is like 20 uh, episodes. The Soul Society is like 40 episodes. The Ronco arc is like uh, 200. The Thousand Blood War is like, I'm trying to remember, it's like 200 and shit, I'm trying to remember, it's like 200 plus chapters. So that's like three and a half, four years of content, you feel me, of episodes that they do. So in my personal opinion, I feel like the Stern Ritters were better and got things done more than the Espadas. Because if we're going to talk about the Espadas, you had Aizen and Tolson and uh, Gein who pretty much betrayed um, the Soul Society, the 13th Core Guard Squad, went to Wake Up Moon and stuff like that. He just, they, Aizen pretty much grabbed a, a ragtag group of people and just threw them and say, this is my Espada with the Vasta Lourdes and the Hope You Cool and blah 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 and all that stuff. And Aizen's whole entire goal was pretty much to destroy and this is my personal right no not my personal this is fact he tried to use the espada and then he was trying to and the problem is people saying with the aranka arc is that the aranka arc feels like a ripoff of soul society because people say okay well if you look at the shot by shot comparisons how now and then you have you know richie or richie was a cat and yeah now was a child then they grow they they transform into sexy beautiful women uh then you have where the soul society arc where you had Ichigo fight Renji, Kenpachi, and Byakuya. In the Ronka arc, he fights uh, Grinjao, Ukiyo. No, Nui Tora. Like, you could say he fought Ikaku, and then you could compare it to uh, Nui Tora or Nui Tora or whatever. Him fighting Nui Tora as well. Then you had the Ukiora for Ichigo. Then you had Aizen for. Um, as the last boss, like like it was with the Soul Society arc with Byakuya. So people start seeing the shot by shots of the Ronka arc. And the problem with the Ronka arc is that um is that there there wasn't really any goal. Cause Aizen's goal was to become the Hokyo Cool, go do all this complex crap. Even the Spada too is like, yo, we're gonna go do all this crap just to just whatever. Destroy the Oaken or destroy the 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 barriers, whatever, and go straight to uh the living world and go to the the royal palace and all this other stuff and Aizen's whole goal we didn't really like he was the main villain of he was like the main character of the series and we really didn't learn that much about him you feel me we just knew he just uh wanted to uh he, he was so powerful and so smart and intelligent he didn't find anyone that was his equal but even when the thousand year blood war he never really he never really addressed it you feel me the, the dude was freaking just locked up in a freaking uh uh, the 13, the uh, the underground prison, you feel me? And then we find out in the Ronco arc, he just wants to become God, and he tends to homosexualize, well, better fly, get all this other stupid crap, right? And his goal was to pretty much create the Oaken, pretty much create the World Court Guard Squad, uh, use them as the key to get into the World Palace, and destroy them, and destroy the uh, Soul King, and become the Soul King. I mean, even... Uh, Aizen says in the uh, in the rock art, it's like Udahar, why would you subject uh, subjugate yourself to that thing and blah blah blah. So Aizen screwed around a lot. You feel me? Like he was almost like a politician. Where Ju Abak and the Sternwriters, they got to the point, man. They start so they went to Wake Amundo, slaughtered them. They freaking took Holly Bell, made her into a freaking uh, put her in chain, and pretty much made her to a freaking sex slave. I mean, it was it was freaking serious. Then you had um, the other Sternwriter who pretty much slaughtered the. Uh, around cars and the hollows and put them in concentration camps like they were not playing and then with the first act 
they came, the Shimigamis, you know, when they came to Soul Society and slaughtered all the Shimigami, they made sure to let you know, like, Ichigo, we're not going to kill you. We're just going to break your sword and be out and just cause a destruction to make sure that you guys know that we're healed. And then also, Juabak got to the point, I mean, he stole Yamamoto's Bankai, he killed him. I mean, it was crazy as hell. Then the problem is I have with the, the second act is that it was like a freaking train wreck because it was more of a joke as well. Because the first act was serious, then the second act was just all over the place. It was trolling with Grammy and Masty Guy Lenin. And you know, Juabot becomes so powerful that a freaking arrow hits him and he loses his power. I mean, it, it was all over the place. So, with the, the second act, with the, even with the second act of the Dowsing Blood War compared to the Aronka arc, Juabot sent all of his boys, sent all of his crew to pretty much do the same thing like he did with the first one. But th this time, the Shimigamis were a lot more prepared. But um, the problem I had was a lot of trolling because it's like, we are the vendor-rich empire. And they're like, okay, where were they at the whole time? But they were there the whole time. They were in the Soul Society the whole time. They just hide in a different world or parallel. And they were always in the Soul Society Serate the whole time. They just absorbed the Reishi. And they were just like, we were able, they were saying all this crap for saying, we were able to, we weren't able to invade the Soul Society. We were in the Soul Society. Like, it was trolling as hell. And the thing with Jewel Bach is that he got the job done, you feel me? He did everything what Eisen said and did it way better. And he killed his other remaining Stern Ritter, absorbed their power, gave them to the four uh, Quincy's, you know, we call them we them boys and absorb the power. Then he fights the world guard. They beat the world uh, guard and well, his almighty. Then he kills the soul king, absorbs the power and becomes the almighty and all the other crap. So what I'm trying to say is that the Stern Raider were better and more demonic and uh, and serious and savage than the Arankar, the Arankars and the Espadas and stuff like that because the Espadas just weren't loyal. They just, they hated, most of them hated each other, man. They were just like, they were powerful weapons that Aizen used, but none of them really got to the point, man. Everyone had different goals, different motivation. Yet Grim Jow got mad at Ukiyar trying to kill his uh, Ichigo. Then you have Nuitora freaking stabs freaking Grim Jow, pretty much freaking leaves him a scar. Then you had Baragon talk. Pretty much, you try to kill Holly Bell back in the day. Then you had Stark, who just wanted to be friends. And then even Eisen, he slaughtered Holly Bell because, you know, she wasn't uh, able to fight with uh, fight him. You feel, fight for him. Or he felt like she was unworthy. Then he had Yami, who pretty much became a big, big, giant monster and started destroying everything, even Wake Mundo. He dies. I mean, really, the only ones that really survived was Grimjow, Nell, and Holly Bell. And even when Holly Bell, you see her, we don't see her at all. And her subordinates, I guess the other three, Fraction, Lourdes, whatever it is, her subordinates, they get knocked out just like that by Kyrgyz, the, uh, the Quincy Jail uh, uh, fighter, you feel me? Uh, but also the thing is is that uh, with the Stern Ritters, they just got more to the point and they were just more serious, you feel me? And every single one of them was loyal, even uh, Hashfall. Hashfall, he had the power of the balance and all his other shit and blah, blah, blah. And even when he got absorbed uh, and, you know, his powers was pretty much uh, taken away, he says, I was still honored that he was able to take my powers and I was able to fight for him. So even when he died, he still was loyal to you watch. You feel me? Where Uri was the only Quincy that we knew was going to betray you watch. And you watch know it. So it was kind of stupid where it's like, you watch can see the future. No, he has the power to see the future and crush it. But then Udio shoots an arrow through him and he's like, what is this? And then uh, stops his almighty power and he gets killed. You know what I mean? Like you knew that Uriu was going to betray you. So why would you keep him around if you knew he was going to destroy your freaking plans? And uh, Uriu's dad and uh, uh, and you know uh, Ichigo's father, he he they pretty much give Yuriu the freaking arrow, and I'm like, bro, why didn't you just give it to him before all this? You know what I mean? Like he's kind of a shitty father as well. So I don't understand what was the point of all that, in my personal opinion. So with everything with um with the Stern Ritter, um, the Dalian Blood War was uh, ending was a freaking mess. It was rushed. It was paced. But overall, just to wrap it up, the Stern Ritter to me are way better than Espada's. And you watch, despite all the trolly BS, whatever it is, and Aizen was a troll as well. But if you want to be honest, you watch is a better villain or a better troll than Aizen because he got the job done and he even died with his beliefs. Uh, 
while maintaining his uh, uh, sanity. So again, that's pretty much it, guys. That's the reason why I feel like the Stern Raider are better than the Spotters. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree with me? I know this is a long video, and I feel like this is something I kind of really want to talk to you guys about. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace, and have a great day, and take care.